Amit, the Doklam standoff, the government of India is making a move that indicates the start of a strategic trade war that will pinch the Chinese economy. Concerned over the security and data leakages, the government has started a review of imports of electronic and information technology products from China. There has been a growing clamor in India for curbs for Chinese electronic products. The exposure of Chinese companies within India's electronic an IT industry is said to be worth nearly $22 billion. There have been concerns that such exposure may allow Chinese access to critical information about individuals, businesses and government setups in India. Can China afford a limited conflict, leave alone a full-blown war with India? No. Not if, if you consider how heavily invested China is in the Indian market and economy. While China is known to mix business with some politics, but it finds itself outwitted by India's offensive defense capabilities. Here's a report. China has not shied away from using trade as a weapon or lever to browbeat rivals, big or small, into submission. In 2016, Beijing slapped a new fee on Mongolian exports to China in retaliation for Mongolia hosting the Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama. In 2012, all it took for China to subdue the Philippines was to stop the imports of bananas. In 2010, China did not spare even Japan after the Japanese Navy arrested a Chinese fishing boat near the disputed East China Sea Islands. Beijing stopped the export of rare earths to Japan, which brought the Japanese electronics industry to its knees. Expectedly, Tokyo relented and released the Chinese captain. But in India's case, China finds itself hamstrung by a combination of factors. In is not only a huge market for Chinese manufactured goods, but also a destination for multi-billion dollar Chinese investments. Also, the trade surplus hugely favors China. Even a limited conflict with India will have enormous consequences for China. And for once, China finds itself handicapped in employing trade as a lever against India. Brahma Chalani, a professor of strategic studies at the New Delhi-based Center for Policy Research, says China knows one misstep might put the bilateral trade in jeopardy. He says, and I quote, China will not use the trade cudgel when it has more to lose. As illustrated by the current Sino-Indian troop standoff at the border, where Tibet, Bhutan and the Indian state of Sikkim meet. Chinese leaders value the lopsided trade relationship with India. Exports are more than five times higher than imports as a strategic weapon to undercut its rival's manufacturing base while reaping handsome profits. So instead of halting border trade, which could invite Indian economic reprisals, China has cut off Indian pilgrims' historical access to sacred sites in Tibet. Now sample the following data. In the first nine months of 2016, as per provisional data from Chinese customs authorities, India's exports to China amount to 8.46 billion US dollars, while India's imports from China amount to 44.4 billion dollars. Apart from trade, India is also one of the largest markets for project exports from China. Currently, projects under execution are estimated at more than 63 billion US dollars. As per Chinese figures, cumulative Chinese investments into India till September 2016 stood at 4.75 billion US dollars, while Indian investments into China were less than 1 billion US dollars. In the past, China's attempts at using coercion against India have met with little or no success. For instance, it issued staple visas to Indian nationals living in the northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh and it is building the China-Pakistan economic corridor in spite of India's opposition. In retaliation, some in India are debating a rethink on India's one-China policy. For now though, there are no clear winners in this battle of wits. Bureau Report, Weon.